Welcome back to the High School Sports Zone. Hard to believe, but school is out for the summer, and state champs are being crowned this weekend in softball and next weekend in baseball. One guy who can't believe it is the Byte Magazine publisher, Matt Malatesta. Where has the time gone? Man, this, is, this year's been, has so many great memories, but it's flown by. All right, we're doing this segment with you right before the state softball tournament, but how about Deer Park getting back there in Class 6A fourth time in the last six years at the highest classification that is incredible how do they do it i don't what they do it is they have a program in place and everybody that comes through from you know middle school they have high expectations it's like a katie football it's like a north shore football it's like a bush basketball deer park softball is one of the premier programs in the state of texas they've won a couple state championships as well yeah they've won two uh in the last six years right. and uh, this is their fourth time to state in six seasons. First time to state for your Willis Wildcats. <laughs> Willis. <laughs> Willis coming out of nowhere. This is a, really a program that's built with a nucleus of girls that are all seniors this year, led by Casey Dixon. She's going to University of Louisiana Lafayette. She's their ace. She makes everything go. Um, kudos for Willis to really stepping up and living up to that hype that, you know, they thought they were going to be good last year. This year they've really taken it to another level and reached the state tournament. And Local products staying with softball, making a huge impact last week in college softball. How about Shelby McGlawn from Atascacita leads Baylor to, you know, hits a, hits a clutch home run, leads them to the College World Series. And then you've got Peyton McBride from Deer Park, played for Deer Park last year, doing a tremendous job with Texas A&M, along with Samantha Shaw from East Bernard from in, and Pearland High School doing a tremendous job over there as well. Right. And hey, one more. Amber Surrett, LSU Tiger from Oak Ridge, starting shortstop. Yeah, not bad. Not in bad. baseball, the regional final, Travis in Deer Park, Class 6A. Here we go at Deer Park again. Regional final in baseball, second straight year. That's and, impressive. I mean, baseball, softball in Deer Park, red hot, red hot. Clay Aguiar, tremendous um, pitcher over there. But they've just, you know, last year they were like, Flirting with the number one team in the country type rating. Um, they fell short last year. Hopefully this year they can get it done. But Travis, kind of coming out of nowhere. They've got so much talent, so much D1 talent. Cole Turney, but their star is Sammy Faltine. He pitches. He's the shortstop. He could be one of the players of the year in the city of Houston in all of baseball. And speaking of city of Houston baseball, Sam Houston State, Greater Houston North. They're going to the college regionals. It's like all local guys. 24 out of 30 players <laughs> are from 21 different high schools in the city of Houston. Kudos to them. They get a lot of kids that go off to a bit, you know, another program and they come back to they transfer back to Sam Houston, come back home locally. Robbie Rios from Jersey Village was a star. He was at Oklahoma State. Back at Sam, uh, Lance Miles. Lance Miles was at the Woodlands. Goes to K State, comes back and stars for Sam Houston now. Yeah, that just goes to show you. The incredible baseball talent just on that one team. Absolutely. Not to mention the guys that are all over the SEC, Big 12, and all over the country. All right, so you're going to come back next week, and we're going to talk about players of the year in high school sports, I right? Will be back. That's going to be exciting. Hey, speaking of exciting, over at the Woodlands, the state champs in track and field, we'll come back and we'll visit with the 6A state champion, Highlanders, right after this. <laughs> 